I mean. Yeah, and uh, you know, there's <laughs> that big debate, Ricardo, Ricardo Montalban's chest. Uh, some say it was prosthetic. Oh, right. Some say it was real. I, what school of thought are you in? Are you in the, you know, was, he, was that him? Or was that, you know, maybe did he have a little help? What do you think? Hey, hey, Denny Geek fans, Aaron Sagers here at San Diego Comic-Con, and I am joined right now, he is a, by a comic book man, he it was seen in Clerks 3 most recently, he also runs the Shared Universe podcast studio, and I'm also fortunate to call him a friend, Mr. Ming Chen. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, what's up? What's up, everybody? What's up, Den of Geek? What's up, geeks? Uh, <laughs> huge honor to be here, my friend. My first question is, why does it require on camera at San Diego Comic-Con for us to hang out? I, I feel like we're always moving around at different cons, never get to hang out. I think the problem is we're never home. And I, you literally live maybe 12 miles from me in uh, in Brooklyn, I think, yeah. and I'm in New Jersey. And, you know, we should be hanging out all the time, taking over New York City, but we're never home. So, you know, this is what we do. We're hustlers, we're grinders, and we're geeks. Nerdy ships crossing in a geeky night. Yeah, uh, we're, you know, you're like the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> I'm like Boba Fett's ship, and we're just, yeah, we're just crossing each other. I would so. like, I actually very much like that. So a couple years ago, if you recall, I did this whole, we filmed this thing, a clerk for a day. Remember yeah. this? Yeah, at, yeah. The, at the comic book shop. And even when it was not part of comic book men, people would still come in and try to haggle with you, get assessments and everything. And then I was thinking, what is it like for Ming when he's walking the San Diego Comic-Con floor? Are you already getting uh, uh, assaulted by people that are like, hey, how much is this worth? Hey, let me haggle with you. Is this happening? Oh, yeah, all the time. Um, ma mainly what they're like, hey, check out what I picked up. And they're excited about it. And I, I share that excitement because I know what it's like to find a great deal, to find a rare book, to you know, just find something you didn't expect or something you've been looking for for years. So it's like, Ming, 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 check this out, check this out. I got you know, it's a you know, it's a Storm Shadow GI Joe figure in package, unpunched. I'm like, well, let me check that out, and you know, we're handling it carefully. Uh, it's like you know, it's like we're handling the Hope Diamond or you know, the Crown Jewels or something, because to us, that's how important it is. And yeah, I get a lot of people like, hey, I picked this up for fifty bucks. Like, did I get a good deal? Everyone wants to know, did I get a good deal? You know, could I flip this for more? And, uh, and yeah, in most cases, you know, they get a good deal or I'm like, oh man, you should have talked me down to 40 or, you know, sometimes like, oh, you, him, you kind of got ripped off. And, uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I guess we're kind of known as the appraisers now. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, naturally they're going to stop me and say, Hey, you know, I, you know, or, or even say, Hey, I'm going to pick this up. I'm thinking about picking it up. This guy is selling it for 200. Uh, you know, is that a good price? So, um, yeah, it's kind of cool to be, uh, that, that, you know, the, the broker or the dealer or, you know, the cleaner, I guess, right? Yeah, the guy that people look to for the advice. Uh, what was your early Comic-Con memory? Not necessarily San Diego, but some of the early con conventions that you went to. Oh, man, it, it's funny. So we come here and there's, you know, 200, 250,000 people here, right? But not so 25, 30 years ago. My first cons were in church basements, uh, smelly VFW halls. And the one that I love going to hell, was held uh, every other month at the mall, It'd be by like the Orange Julius and the food court, and it'd be just a bunch of guys with uh, long boxes out every every other month. And you know they called it a Comic Con. You got in for free, and that's where I got some of my earliest comics. But to see it from that, then to uh, the high school gymnasiums, to you know to a mile long convention center here in San Diego, it's pretty it's pretty awesome to see where it started and where it is now. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Even like uh, for me, when I was a kid, and you would go to a con, and there'd be legends like uh, Will Eisner, even and yeah. even or Stan Lee, just at, uh, s sitting behind like folding tables, you know, uh, very yeah. low kind of yeah card uh, tables, yeah card tables, yeah card tables, and you know, maybe a little stack of comics, and th those guys signed for free. You know, they just wanted to meet the fans and uh, just spread the love of comics. So obviously, that's that's changed now, but it's uh, it, it's cool to see. It's just cool to see the growth for sure. What's is there any Holy Grail collectible that you're still looking for? <laughs> I, I know you get this question a lot. Oh yeah, but you know I'm an '80s kid, so always uh, vintage GI Joes. The better shape, the the you know the, if they're in great shape, awesome. If they're in if they're in box or on a card, that's cool. You know, because as a kid, I always 
of course I played with them, took them out. So now as an adult that knows better and the collectible value and, uh, you know, now they sell like protectors for these things. Uh, they're easier to display mint on card. Mm-hmm. I'm always looking for that. And then, uh, yeah, it, it's weird. Uh, it, even sometimes you're just looking for the obscure comic might not be super valuable, but I remember we were looking for a West Coast Avengers issue. Uh, there's a character in there called Big Bertha. Okay, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not very PC. Her superpowers, you just get really big and, and sit on her enemies and kind of smother them Would to not death. fly today, no. Yeah, but her real name is Ashley Crawford. And my friend, whose real name is Ashley Crawford, was like, hey, can you help me find this issue? Like, I'm in it. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of the namesake of Big Bertha. And, you know, worth $10 mint maybe, but... Uh, you know, it took us a while to find it, but when we found it, even that kind of common book, it was like, whoa, whoa, we found it, we found it. All right, all right, how much, dude? All right, here, here's ten bucks. Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it yeah, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you know, it just means something to you, right? Yeah, to you. Well, yeah. okay, what's a GI Joe uh, chase figure that you're looking for? Uh, I'm always looking for mint on card uh, Firefly figures. Firefly, Fire- yes, yeah. fan favorite. Okay, with just a random GI Joe question yes. though. Okay, something that's plagued me since I was a child. Okay, because I was a big GI Joe fan. Yeah, Destro. Okay, <laughs> yes. love Destro. Yeah. Yes. So the original figure, the the original on card figure. So does Destro have an open shirt? Is that like a bare chest and a medallion hanging down? It is. Um, is he rocking like a disco style or I, something or what? I'm gonna say he's probably him heavily influenced by Khan and Ricardo Montalban, Wrath of Khan too. And you know he he had that the open chest as well. I feel like he saw Wrath of Khan and he was like, dude, that's that's the look. I got the pecs for it. I got the body for it. And maybe not intimidating. Maybe it is though. Like if, if we just opened up our shirts and walked around Comic Con and you know, maybe we had that physique, I think we could cut some good deals. Like the vendors are like, oh no, no, here, fifty percent off, uh, sir. Yeah, I think we could we could cut an imposing figure with that. Maybe for you. I, I don't think that would fly for me. <laughs> I think people would say, just take that weird chest sweater away from me. <laughs> like, or whatever. Yeah, and, and <laughs> it uh, wouldn't work for me though, man. Yeah, and uh, you know, there's <laughs> that, that big debate, Ricardo Ricardo Maltoba's chest. Uh some say it was prosthetic. Oh, right. Some say it was real. I, what school of thought are you in? Are you in the you know, was he was that him? Or was that, you know, maybe did he have a little help? What do you think? I'm going to say it's him. Yeah, I'm going to say it's him, too. Even if it wasn't, what a great story. Yeah, but he's, you know, like... Like Rich Corinthian letter, leather, yeah. right? So, oh, Ricardo. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ricardo. Before we wrap it up, just uh, I know a shared universe. You guys do this podcast studio out there in Red Bank, and do you have another location too now? Like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we have yeah, three in the three. area. Yeah, Red Bank, uh, Tom Go Home Dell, and uh, there's one at the local mall as well. We uh, we found this like uh, this weird like Terminator Three underground bunker uh, where they built a studio, and I was like, hey, let's rent this out. So yeah, what's the state of podcast? Would you say it's it's, it's very good right now. Uh, during the pandemic, everyone decided they wanted to start. Uh, we helped a lot of people start during the pandemic just to stay sane, and uh, a lot of people kept going. But uh, what I love about it, anybody can do it. Like, we're basically podcasting right now. Uh, if you've talked, if you have a conversation, you're a podcaster, so I want to help them launch their shows. And who knows? You never know. it become big. Uh, but real quick, the best part about starting a podcast, you could submit a, a press application for a Comic-Con. They'll usually let you in for free. So, you know, think about it. Think about it. I mean, you teed up a nice segue here because I do do a podcast about paranormal stuff. You know, I do spooky stuff. Yeah. And you, I know you're a Midwest kid from Michigan. Michigan, I'm from Florida, and I would say Michigan gives Florida a run for its money as far as weirdness. Oh, yeah. And I was curious, did you have any favorite Michigan urban legends or spooky stories from when you were a kid? Uh, I think the biggest one was uh, uh, Hell Night, which was... Uh, uh, more famously documented in the movie The Crow. Uh, yeah, Devil's and Night and Devil's Hell Night. Night yeah. yeah, Devil's Night. Um, yeah, it was a, that was a real thing. The night before Halloween, people would just go around and light stuff on fire and just create havoc. And that's where James O'Barr got the inspiration for The Crow. And uh, yeah, you knew the night before Halloween, like you don't go out because you might get set on fire or, you know, you might wear into Fun Boy or, uh, and, and, you know, they, yeah, you might come back from the dead to re- enact revenge. You never know. Could get real weird. Yeah. Uh, is Michigan weirder than Jersey? No, 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 not by, no, there's, uh, Jersey's definitely weird. You got the Jersey Devil, uh, you've got, like, uh, a bottomless whirlpools, you have the Pine Barrens, um, yeah, you have weird abandoned places. I think Jersey's definitely got the edge in terms of weird- weirdness. I mean, there's even a magazine called Weird New Jersey that is very popular in New Jersey, so. I know those guys, yeah. the two marks that the put two that marks, out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, those guys sure. are great. Uh, all right, Ming, my buddy, I'm so excited that you could join us in the Denny Geek studio. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can take like an antique away 
Uh, I, I, like a, a, the problem is I prize. want everything. I was like, yeah. give me the Atari 2600, the centipede cartridge. The uh, yeah, I'll, I I'm gonna leave it here just for the aesthetics. But uh, if you later on you see, you know, it's like where where'd that thing go? Don't go, don't come looking for me. Wasn't me. Wasn't right. me. Ming Chen, see you out on the con floor. Yeah, see you out there. Thank you, man. Den of Geek, my favorite. <laughs>